Hey, hey, guys. All Ooh. right, welcome to Donut Comp 2019. Woo! That's exciting. That was an awesome Donut keynote, Corp right? Woo. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about the format of this conference. We're going to have a super awesome time for you. Um, if you look on the party page, the .NET Comp website, .netconf.net slash party, there are two virtual attendee parties happening. These are all sponsored by our amazing sponsors of .NET Comp itself here. They are giving away over 40 prizes, Xboxes, uh, Surface Goes, a bunch of Amazon gift cards. The attendee parties, one is after the show today, and mm -hmm. one is on Wednesday at 4 a.m. our time, um, so we can hit all the time zones. So you can play, answer trivia questions, and if you really want to get involved and engage and watch the video, Jeff's going to be back there with the partners, uh, Twitch TV, yep. Hack Visual Studio. Um, so that'll be fun. It's going to be a ton of fun. I think that's fun. And then the other thing we're doing, the new this year, is a tre technical treasure hunt. Okay, so 10 of our partners have created these technical challenges for you where you got to go figure out answers. They're going to give you clues throughout the day. So watch the uh, .NET Foundation um, Twitter handle yep. and the hashtag .NET Conf. Our partners will give you secret clues. Um, watch this page. We'll give you all the URLs to hit, so if you want to try and figure them out. Um, read the rules, okay? So what you do is you'll need a Twitch account and you'll whisper to the Twitch bot your answer and it will let you know if you got it right or not. If you get them all right, you're entered to win for a really big grand prize. A now lot anybody, of cool little puzzles yeah. and stuff. Oh yeah, they're really, really cool challenges yeah. from our partners, so that's actually pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so watch that. Also, uh, I wanted to say our local events. We now have 217 local events, and I think there's like 40 watch parties going on right now. It's amazing. So, like, if yeah. you are, if you guys are having a watch party right now, make sure you take a picture of your event. Hashtag .NET Conf. We'll get it on the tag board yeah. here. Okay, yeah. so um, that'll be awesome. So a lot of these actually are our .NET Foundation meetups, right, John? They are. They are. That's right. Yeah. Um, so .NET Foundation meetups have grown. They've they've just grown. Uh, like crazy. So we're at uh, 314 worldwide now, 62 countries, which is so cool. That's amazing. Um, I've got a link here too. Um, you can join these. There's a link on this where you can join the, the meetups and we'd love to have you. So this is a great way where you can get involved locally and like Beth said, tweet your tweet stuff with .NET Conf and, and we'll you know post your, your pictures. Um, .NET Foundation's been really busy lately. We've got, uh, we recently this year we launched our community uh, community elections. So it's open membership and an open uh, vote for our board of directors. So we had a great turnout for the election. Our, our new board of directors, when they uh, started up, we met and we said, you know, what is some stuff we want to do? What are, what are some things we want to focus on? And Beth, you're one of the board of director members here. I am. Um, so we, one of the things we decided to do was form some action groups. And these action groups are like, hey, here's some stuff we really want to focus on and get done. Um, and then as part of this, we make it so that uh, members can join these action groups as well. So they can volunteer, get involved, and, you know, s help get stuff done, right? So some of these, uh, the marketing communication one, we've moved to a, uh, you know, it's all GitHub pull requests. People can submit their news items. Uh, project support, we've moved over to a Kanban board that's open. Um, one, oh, and the outreach team, um, Sarah Chips led a, a call with people around the world and we had, you know, we had all these people telling us how we can expand the reach of open source.net. It's actually been really fun trying to pull together a committee and volunteers it's and that great. sort of stuff. It's so, and yeah. expanding out from this tiny little team to like this worldwide group. One that I'm really excited to talk about today is the technical oversight group. So when we first met, we uh, the t the team, uh, especially like John Skeet and Ben Adams and Orrin Novotny, they were saying, you know, there's some stuff we could do to make uh, to just improve the project ecosystem, to make it so that you can depend on projects, they'll stay around, um, that there'll be a little more structure to them. So I'm really excited to announce today that we've got three new programs launching under this. So one is a maturity model, and I'll dive into that in a second. That really defines these quality levels. We're also announcing to support that some training and support and a project forge. And that project forge is, is focused at identifying some kind of key strategic areas for things like, shouldn't there be a library? Shouldn't there be a project for this? And then dive in and do it. So very cool. Yeah, this project maturity ladder is it's totally opt-in. If it doesn't fit your project, totally fine. But if it does, this can really open up some things. So uh, we've started, you know, up till now, we've really, where we've been at for our, our projects in .NET Foundation has been kind of in the two and three level here. 
So it's been, you know, you'd contribute your IP, we'd say here's some general best practices, and we'd support the project, but it's, you're kind of on your own. It also was difficult for a project to join. It could kind of take a while. I see. So what we've done now is we've added this easier level, this incubator level. And this is a really easy on-ramp, make it quick for a project to join. Not a lot of legal paperwork. It's just kind of like, hey, we'll hook you up with a mentor. We'll help market you. Then as you move up, we're adding in some structure around things like uh, you know, bringing in some basic security practices at level two. Level three, really focusing on things like continuity and signed packages. Make it easy for, for enterprise to trust you, you know, um, and for, other, for interdependencies between li libraries. And then finally, at level four is this trustworthy project, and this is actually built from source on certified build infrastructure. Okay. So, yeah. W you like know, .NET Core is? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And so, you know, we've we've got a blog post going through this. There's actually a lot of information here. We've got a repo that's live today with tons of information on this. Um, also, um, as you mentioned, uh, the .NET team is involved. We're also, we've got several pilot projects. So we worked with, we reached out to a lot of our kind of top community projects and we said, you know, what, what uh, would you like to get involved? So they worked with us to kind of look at our draft of the proposal and get it right, you know? So, so we're really excited about this. We're working with uh, Dapper Identity Server, Mini Profiler, um, Stack Exchange Redis. What's that? Okay, <laughs> Newtonsoft, Jason, and, and then the .NET team, like you said. So they're actually building on the, on the certified infrastructure. Um, awesome. So yeah, cool. And also, uh, let me see, am I still, what am I doing here? Great. Nothing's happening. There it is. Um, so, oh. <laughs> was surprised we've also, gone. under the .NET Foundation, we've got a corporate sponsor program. So we launched that in December. We've got several corporate sponsors. Um, so in December, we added on Pivotal, Progress Telerik, and Insight. Right. And um, so these are, these are companies that, you know, their business is invested in open source.net to the point that they really, they're chipping in financially. They're getting involved in supporting things. Super excited today to announce that AWS is joining. So AWS is a corporate sponsor of the .NET Foundation, um, and we're just so happy to have them join. So we, we've got it's awesome to have them on board and helping there. Absolutely. absolutely, and this is something you know where they can help. They can be in, involved and help review things. They've got some great uh, .NET insight. They've been shipping for for over ten years, you know, and so it's, it's pretty significant. We now have all three major cloud vendors as sponsors, corporate sponsors of the .NET Foundation. That's pretty huge. Absolutely. So I think what you see with this is, you know, huge investment from Microsoft and .NET right. and the community, the, the entire you know worldwide community with the meetups and stuff, and then also the corporate sponsorship shows just support all over the place. It's great to see .NET growing like this. Absolutely, and so now we want people to become a member of the foundation, right? Absolutely, and yeah. it, You don't really have to be like a super duper coder. You can become a member even if you're just like contribute to docs, run a meetup, you, yep. know, you know, help out the community in any way, right? Yeah, so there, there's information here on this Become a Member page, and it really is something where, you know, if you've contributed, you know, we've got people that have contributed just a few lines to docs or they've spoken at their local meetup, you know, like done a, a short little presentation. If you haven't even, if you're not at that level, let us know and we'll tell you how you can get involved. Gotcha. So, That's and this, so cool. becoming a member is kind of the first step because then we can get you involved with these action groups, action groups that are doing things like that. You know, that maturity ladder that I talked about, that's going to take some work to get that all set up. It's exciting though, right? It's a right. new opportunity and so this is your ground floor to get in. And so, like, we're actually all open all on GitHub. Our discussions, everything that we're doing, like yep. around the, those committees. So, as you when you join, become a member, you can actually contribute to just the discussions as well. Exactly. You know, I mean, would love to have you as a volunteer on an action group if you want to actually do stuff. Yeah, um, we have a lot of things to do. A lot of it is a lot of just busy work stuff too. Sometimes we just need people to like, hey, can you manage the Twitter handle? Can you like, you know, can you help review a project's uh, right. you know, checklist? Well, things like these things, you know, right? Can, can you can you review the membership applications? Sure, right? there's a lot of well, work it, to do. But it's exciting right? because it has a huge worldwide impact, right? right. So things like that. Um, that newsletter, right? Moving that to something where anyone in the world can submit a news item, and as soon as we open that up, our newsletter got so much better, right? right? It's, exactly. It's a lot of so good we're stuff. open sourcing basically our or opening up the way that we run the foundation the to all of our yeah. members, and that's what these action committees and groups are about. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. 
All right, so um, right now we're going to get started with some amazing sessions. All right, these are going to be, we have like 78 sessions for you over the course of three days. It's absolutely insane. So in order to make these sessions awesome, we want you to ask uh, your questions on Twitter. Okay, mm -hmm. just use the hashtag .NET Conf because this year we have some amazing live in-studio hosts. And this year we've got Kendra Havens and Scott Hanselman. <gasps> Take it away, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Beth and John. Yeah, we're, got, we're hosting. This is our Twitter board. So we'll see everything that you submit and be able to read those out to our speakers and answer them. Yep, so make sure that you uh, tag all of your tweets with hashtag .NET conf, and we'll go ahead and bring them up on the big board here. You can see that folks are doing viewing parties. Ooh. Uh, so some huge nerds there. Uh, here we go. Some folks in uh, in India are doing a live streaming party as well. So I'd love to see photographs, pictures of your of your parties, of your viewing parties. We have folks all over the place. We've got we got some pizza at X Spirit. <laughs> so I want to see photographs. I want to see photographs of you and your friends and your coworkers and colleagues all checking out .NET Conf Live and hashtag those things. And of course, questions. Uh, in a few minutes, we're going to have Mads Torgerson talking about C Sharp Eight. Uh, if you want to have live questions from, from Mads, those questions will show up on the board, and Kendra and I will make sure that they get answered. Yep. Uh, one other thing I want to call out, and maybe they'll put those up on the board for us, is some new videos that we did as well. So when the fun and excitement of .NET Conf uh, wears off with over 80 different uh, videos yeah, and sessions. Yeah, it's a lot to take in in one day. We got together <laughs> with our friends and we put up some great stuff on YouTube. If you go to dot, dot .NET slash videos, mm -hmm. there's in fact over 80, I think something like 85 new videos that are um, going to show people how to do .NET, how to do C Sharp, how to do ASP.NET, ML, desktop, all kinds of stuff. Maybe our friends that are running the board here will send me a picture of that tweet. I tweeted on, on my Twitter. Twitter, uh, but you can check that out at dot.net slash videos, and uh, all of those are available. Let's see what we got here. And then we're going to bring that up for me. I don't see them yet. This is the great thing about live television. Yeah, we wanted that, to share that tweet with you. I want to share that you, tweet with so you. Refresh. But that's at dot.net slash videos, all of that. And then everything that we're doing today, even though it's live, it's recorded, isn't it? Right? So, oh, yes. I can click this button here. Oh, there we go. I forgot that's about that one. That's what I got to learn to do. That's, that's my bad. That's what we should have been doing. <laughs> see, look at this. Oh, hang on. Hackerspace Mumbai. Nice. Ooh. What else we got here? There's some enthusiasm here <laughs> about .NET. Yeah. A lot of people excited to be a .NET developer. It's, oh, look at this. There's that. There's our folks in Bengaluru. She, she's the next three. See, you, see what's here. Oh, what else we got here? Do I see? There's so many tweets. I'm actually not even finding our tweets. Right. See, so folks are just bringing them in. Okay, well, they're going to come in faster than I can deal with them, but we're going to have all kinds of information about .NET and the future of .NET, and I think that right now we're going to be jumping over to Mads Torgerson, who's going to do actually a two-part session. Yeah, all C Sharp 8 goodness. I'm excited. All right, <laughs> let's jump over to Mads, and we'll see you on the big board soon.